You want to be white so bad, it's sad. So, hey, tell me, you know. Reasons why we think you want to be white. First of all, that hairline, wild as fuck. It's a upside down you. Do you get like your fades and super cuts, bro? Yo, you look like you got Stevie Wonder's shape up. Like, like what you doing, bro? All right, jokes aside, let's get into it. Like, if you notice, after you said that, you like you literally went down the the playlist of like you're an Uncle Tom, and this is how I want to present black people in a negative light. And me being good, it's it's somehow me closer to being white. You know what I mean? Like, first of all, uh, I don't know if you knew this, but you know, like written language, you know, like that didn't start in Europe. That started in Africa. You know what I mean? Like math, agriculture, all that stuff. You know what I mean, like, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Second of all, um, when it comes to the way you present things, you're literally just doing what Candace Owen and all those weird black folks who want to cater to white people do is you literally disingenuously show something that makes black people in a negative light and say, like, look, I'm better than this. And I agree with you. They're the problem. I'm not the problem. I'm a good one. Pick me. And that's what you are. Here's an example. You want to talk about black folks rioting. Okay. Did you talk about how I think it was like 93% of all the BLM protests were nonviolent and the 7%, almost all of those were actually undercover cops, undercover feds, and white folks dressing in blackface to make the protests look bad. They weren't actually the protesters that were breaking into businesses and rioting. You do know that, right? And to suggest that it's only a black thing shows how racist you are because American history shows us that even the hippies, the peace loving hippies in the seventies rioted. There was plenty of hippie riots. In fact, there was more hippie riots than Black Lives Matter riots. You want to you want to talk about that? Nah, nah, because it doesn't present your argument and the folks you want to pick you. It, it doesn't present that in a way you want it to be presented, right? So you want to be disingenuous. And let's talk about the writing because how come every time a football team, a basketball team, a baseball team wins or loses, or especially hockey team, and white folks celebrate winning or losing by destroying their city? You never talk about that. Why don't you talk about that? You, you do anything about January 6th? Anything about the coup? Anything about literal treason? You know, the most anti-American thing, you want to talk about how you love this country, like, why don't you talk about traitors? I mean, treason is something all Americans could unify behind and say, that's wrong and we're not for it. But you don't. You a clown. We don't respect you and we never will. And that's why your hairline look all fucked up, weirdo.